Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, to, and I'm from Western New York. I almost forget to say that, but I'm from Western New York. Uh, how is everyone today? I hope you're fine. I know you can't answer me, but I'm good today. The weather was actually less humid, but it was still warm. And would you believe when I went to Aldi's today, my fingers, I had a finger turn white, the tip of it. I have probably... What's it called? Rayanans? Renards. Renards. I think I have Renards disease. I don't know if you've ever heard of it or not, where your fingers turn white in the cold and your toes will turn white. Well, mine do that. All I did was go in the grocery store, pick up some almond milk, some, some um, provolone cheese, and a loaf of bread for my grandkids because they're going to be coming. And I had a white finger when I left the store. It was It's warm outside. It's probably in the upper 70s. So I should not have had a white finger, but I did. Well, today I want to talk about a little bit about, I put it in my notebook so I get my notes correct and I stay on task. Today I want to talk about a little bit for the seniors in this group, and then I'll move on to younger people too, so that you won't feel left out. But this um, little bit that I'm going to tell you, it's how to avoid taxes when you're 65 to 70 and a half. There's um, things that you could be charged if you don't know the rules of Medicare. Now when you turn when you're turning 65 three months before or three months after you have to sign up for Medicare. When you do that as soon as you sign up you have to stop your your medical savings account. If you have a medical savings account HSA that you, uh, that, savings you account. that you put in a, a health savings account, yeah, medical. It's for medical. Mm -hmm. um, you have to stop it. Otherwise, all the money that you put in after you've signed up for Part A when you turn 65, you will pay six percent on any of the money that you contribute to that. So you don't want that to happen. It happened to me. I didn't know this that it would happen, but that's, I found out later that I had to stop it. Okay, there's another penalty that could be paid if you're going to be 70 and a half. That's when you have to draw the minimum amount out of your IRA or your 401k. You have to do it. If you don't, the government will, in America, will fine you 50% of the amount that you didn't take out that was to be taken out. So like, and there is a calculator for that. It's under the Charles Swab RMD. That's the rec required minimum distribution that you have to take and it will figure it for you. So you want to do it when you're the year that you're 70 and a half. Now some people your birthday is later and the calculator will say you could take it out at 71 which is fine and dandy, but you've got to take out your second installment in that same year. So I don't think you want to do that. It'd be better if you took it out when you're 70 and a half so that you take it in out the year before. That um, So when you're 70 and a half, don't wait to 71. Okay, then, um, and you can't put any more money in your IRA if you have not worked. Now, once you stop working, you can't use Medicare money to put in your IRA and build it up. It has to be earned income that you've earned from a job that you were doing. That's the only money that you can put in. So like this year, because I worked up till May, I can put money into my IRA if I wish. But next year, because I'm not working at all and it's just Social Security money that I'll be getting, I will not be able to put it in. There is another rule that you could look up about the married couple thing. I won't go into that, but you can look it up if you'd like to know that. Okay, now this is for the next group of people. This could be for anybody that is still working, even down to the little children. Um, when, you, when you drink your soft drinks or your sparkly drinks or your sodas or whatever you want to call them, your colas, your pops, your whatever those fizzy things are, when you drink those, a lot of them have a deposit on it. Don't just throw them away. Get your deposit and put your, put your nickels or dimes. Some pay, places pay 10 cents for each bottle. Over here they pay a, dime, a nickel per, per bottle that is, that is um, 
recycle that you can get recycled and get paid for put that money into a little piggy bank or a jar or something and you'd be surprised there's a lady that actually every day she goes for her walk and she carries a little plastic bag with her and she has actually found enough cans and bottles to pay her airfare to go to Florida and her airfare to come back home which is pretty pretty darn good when you think of it it was all nickels that she was getting and you collect she collected enough over the year to send her on a trip every year now for the other little for younger kids who want to work and you say I want a job and you're only 13 the only job you can have really is babysitting but a lot of places want you to take the babysitting training before you go babysit or if you're 13 and a responsible child there are people that will um, have you watch their kids in your neighborhood probably and you can and this is that's the age that you're allowed to stay home alone up to that point your mommy or your daddy could be um, in trouble if they left you home and you're under 13 so you want to be at least 13 and those of you that want to work for somebody else like a farmer you have to be 14 years old and you have to have working papers now if you live on a farm and your mom and dad have the farm you can do that at any age and your parents don't have to pay you if they don't want to now when I was growing up we had bear, black raspberries and I picked black raspberries my mother paid me which was a lot because but you'll think it's not a lot because you're thinking money should be grown on trees but it's not my mother paid me five cents a quart I don't think she got much more than that from the factories but we got five cents a quart and we had a card that had numbers on it and she would ask us how many we picked and she used to punch it with a hole puncher there was a special it looked like a letter D that she would punch the hole punch the the count in and at the end of the season we would get our money for our berry picking and half of that money we had to put in the bank so if you're earning money put half of it away and this way you'll have a savings before you know it you'll, it will grow and the more it grows the better you feel and, the, and you like seeing it grow you'll you'll actually like watching it add up and add up and add up so that was what I had on this notebook let me see if I had oh and I got my crown on my tooth today I um, went to the dentist and they took the the temporary off and they put the crown on and um, now my tooth feels like it's too high but the the temporary was too low so it's like I have to get used to this now it doesn't feel like a piece of gum on my tooth anymore now it feels like a tooth but I'm not used to having a tooth there that I can actually chew on so it feels funny all right if you've made it this far I have something I want to do I'm going to do because I've been hoping to do this for my um, live stream but it's not happening yet so I'm going to do two giveaways actually this one is in this one and then when I do my live stream it'll be a different one but in this live stream I've got a little number that I wrote on here on this little piece of paper I'm not going to show it to you um, the number goes anywhere between 1 and 1000 I'm going to put it in the envelope this is here I'll turn it so you can see it's going to go in the envelope it's in there I'm going to do I have to lick it yeah if you want to poison somebody put it on the envelope <laughs> I always think of that when I'm licking something if there was poison on there I'd be dead okay I put it on I've licked it it's sealed now I'm gonna put some scotch tape on it or tape I don't know if it's scotch or not but it's tape I'm gonna tape the thing down this is a this is a secure envelope we'll tape the other side secure it down oh boy now I'm going to take I don't know if you've ever seen a stapler like this this is a different type of stapler this was my mother's stapler I love this because you just hold it and I'm going to staple and I'm going to staple and I'm going to staple okay and on my envelope it says I'm going to announce the win winner 
July 14, which is a Sunday, in my Sunday video. When I make my video, I will announce the, the person there. And they have to contact me by Wednesday the 17th. Now, what you're, you're supposed to do is, in your comments below, you have to be a United States um, person. I'm sorry. It has to be the United States. But um, it, your address has to show that you live in the United States, the winner. And um, where was I? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, no. Here goes that memory thing. Um, you have to choose. Well, I want you to make a comment. And then in your comment, add a number, either between 1 and 1,000. Look at the other comments so that you don't choose a number that they have. And the one that gets either on the number or the closest to it without going over. You can't go over the number. And this is what you're going to get. I will show you. It's an American flag that has automotive tape on the back. I will take you outside so you can see um, where we put ours. And this packaging is like a template. When you open it up, you can actually um, place it on to where you think you want your your um, flag to be and then you take the thing and you flip it up and it sticks right there. I will take you outside and show you where my flag is because I have one. My husband designed this flag. This was done, it's all one piece and it was done out of plastic. So you, what is it made pieces. of? It's three pieces? Well, many pieces but three different colors. The white is all one Are they, piece. But they're, not, but they're all together as well. They're one. all together. But all together we designed one. as three di three separate. He had to design it as three separate pieces. Apparently, I don't know. All I know is he made it. He designed it. He drew it. He designed it, and it looks like the flag is waving. So I'll go show you that. So let's go outside and see. Okay, this is the flag that we have, and we have it on a camper door. Is what we have it on, and I don't know if you can see the waves in it. I'll go to different angles. See the waves in it? It's really a nice flag. You can put it on a camper, you can put it on a car, but you got to remember when you sell your car, it goes with it because it's automotive tape and you can't remove it. You could put it on your house. Whoops. You can put it wherever you want that you want it to stay forever for permanently. Permanent. <laughs> okay. Well, I just bored my net, my grandson to to death. He just fell asleep. What do you want? Sleep? Oh, he had the sleep lotion? I don't think he had the sleep lotion on. But it was right Here, in front of him. Give, give me a show him. He, said, he points to this and says maybe this is what he went to sleep with. It's sleep. It's hand lotion and it's a sleep formula. It's, a, it's um, aromatherapy. Aromatherapy. <laughs> he didn't put any on. Okay. So the, the giveaway is the flag. This flag. And you have to be a United States um, address. And the drawing will be in my Sunday video. I will open the envelope and I will go over the numbers to see who's got the closest number or maybe somebody will hit it right on the nose, but you can't go over. You go over, you're gone. It's too bad. I'm sorry. Um, but the closest one coming up to it. Um, and I will do that on Sunday and then you have to contact me by Wednesday. I will put in the in the description. description. My email is in my about. I don't know. You'd have to look see if people can find it, but I can put it in in there. And um, this way, you email me your address, and then I will um, mail it out to you. And that's I guess that's it. I guess. So, for those of you that stayed, you know this is what's going on. For those of you that don't, this is what happens when you don't watch the whole videos. So, I will talk to you all again tomorrow. You have a great day. Bye.